everybody it is Kalaxon and hunter here if you guys enjoy this ruby news video you guys should subscribe become patrons over on patreon much like miles and carrie i am gonna have my phone out so i can make sure that i get uh, everything that was like actually said during this but if you guys don't know there was some news because of the ruby panel Look all right good, there was booze, many well. newses many, many news <laughs> many multiple things. news multiple news situation so the first one is smite if you guys didn't know we kind of knew this already but we didn't see the art yet i don't know why it's not letting me zoom out a little less aggressively <laughs> okay so this is the key art for smite they're gonna be characters in smite which is weird i'm not sure how this works like in smite it's like greek gods and hindu god. gods and like gods our gods <laughs> right it's a, our gods and so they're getting god skins I'm like, what does that mean? I don't know. But all we know is so that like, is they're Ruby the Grim Smite. Reaper? Is Yang like? I guess they're I technically know. fairy tale characters, yeah. but that's just not. That's but not yeah, they're coming this either. November. I really, I just really like this. Uh, so yeah, that was a good part of the stream. This is something that's happening. So if you guys don't know this, I don't know anything about this particular company. But smile. basically, what I've heard is, and what they talked about is that people or artists, I should say, they submit their art. And then people pick it, like people, probably Kruby, Kruby mm -hmm. picks it for official merch. Ooh. So say like a dishwasher draws like a really cool Ruby picture. I really hope it's Majojo dumb Ruby. Or Ruby. Or something like that. I really hope it's dumb Ruby. What does that mean? It's the Ruby comics where everyone has the same like dot dot line face. Oh, you mean those? Oh yeah. my God. Anyway, so yeah. So like say somebody like that wants to submit art and wants to make a shirt. And so basically they get chosen and then their shirt goes yours. out official. Yours. Mine? No, yours. Oh. Yang horse. Remember oh, yours? Oh, no. <laughs> no. I want yours. No, no, yours. I thought you meant mine because I made a shirt. And it says nobody, no oh. death. And then it's a simple outline of the characters who have yours. passed away. Um, but anyway, basically it goes on, I guess it's, it becomes an official product whatever that means. So it goes up on the RT site, it goes up on this company's site, whatever, and the person gets royalties. That's pretty cool. I don't know when it's gonna happen. Like, I don't think they said an exact date, mm -hmm. but like, coming soon, guys. Be prepared. If you're an artist, know yours. Uh, but yeah, apparently they've done this for Doki Doki Literature Club and a couple other things, so I thought that that was really cool. That's pretty cool. Then we have, this is the first time the Ooh. author even saw the cover of his poor book, poor Oh my Easy god, Myers. I didn't know that. Oh. Yeah, Ruby Before the Dawn. If you guys don't know, Ruby Before the Dawn is a continuation, basically. It is with Team Coffee, um, and they're sort of like, and ooh, Sound. You know, who does Carmen and Basilisk or whatever his name, who do they work for? What is going on? And so they team up with Team Sun. And at the end of the first book, they meet up with Team Sun. And Team Sun's like, y'all look terrible, <laughs> right? And so now they join forces, all that stuff. July 2020, this is coming out. I love the cover. Lots of people had issues with the Ruby after the fall cover. Really? Like how it looked, really? how characters looked. I, I'll i put in a screenshot, I guess, to remind people so we can compare them. I think this looks I much better. I think the art is smush. much better I love um, on this one. No Look offense to the person that made the original, but I think Look that this my looks boy, really good. Uh, Sage and Scarlet aren't dead, I guess. Do you remember like three years ago, there was this Probably. rumor going yeah. around that they were dead? Like, I guess they're not dead unless, unless that's why they're back here and because they're dead uh, or going to die. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be fun. I think Sun looks great. Neptune looks great. Like, I'm excited for this book because well, it looks adorable. I think it'll flesh out the team. I really mm -hmm. like the first book. We really like the first mm -hmm. book. Go EC Myers. <laughs> like, we're your biggest fans. Um, but yeah. Squad. Ooh, so that looks really nice. Oh my gosh. News that we got. So this isn't depicted very well in the picture. They basically talked about when the Viz Media manga will be out for publication and stuff like right. that so i think if i'm not mistaken wow, they say full amazing. manga print will re will release in print form summer 2020 so if you guys don't know hunter and i have been sort of waiting for the viz media manga to do one season before you read it out online to mm -hmm. do a review and to mm -hmm. read and stuff like that whereas if you guys have been seeing people like eruption fang have been doing it like every time a new issue comes out that's perfectly fine i just wanted to wait but Miles basically said that Juniper is going to get their own anthology 
situation. They're going to get of, their own manga story, sort of like their own like focused But it, was it like thing. the fan-made Ruby one? Uh, it was sort of unclear. I think that's kind of what he meant, but they talked about this. Like, oh, okay. this me like this was the image when he talked about it, so I don't really know. It's possible that they've sort of abandoned the fan anthologies, and now Viz Media is going to produce the mm. Juniper stuff. I'm not sure, not clear on that. Um, because even the Ruby Twitter account didn't say that, even though Miles said it in the panel. So, yeah, that's sort of what, like, we're sort of out, um, for that, I guess. I love this image, though. I know. They look so nice in the manga. I can't wait to show you. Then we got this. The DC we already know the DC comic stuff is happening. Hunter and I have been doing videos. Oh, Jim Lee wrote There are going to be some variant, um, covers for the, for the cover art. Um, and stuff like that and so one of the full issues is releasing October 9th and so mm -hmm. that'll be everyone's story except for Blake I think if oh, it's coming boy. out October 9th the physical copy because it'll be Ruby's first section uh, then the second one where we see Raven talk is a bird then Yang's story and then Blake's has come out right okay, you know what yeah. I mean and so everyone but boys got to be Whoops. in the first issue because ruby basically got two chapters but that's okay um and so then they also showed these now we got to see these at rtx okay. um so i guess we weren't allowed to take pictures of some things i think this was one of the things we weren't allowed to take a picture of so this is one of the variant covers and then this is the other variant variant cover, cover for the dc comics? yes for okay. the dc comics and i think that they look really nice like they yeah. just look great sis they then look like we... glam shots move on Neo is in blaze blue. Yeah. We already sort of knew that, Green. so they mentioned that. Um, sort of disappointing. So there was a blaze blue stream a couple nights ago, and all the Ruby fans stayed awake because they thought we would get a new Ruby character, but instead we got like three Persona and like two blaze. Like it was just unbalanced. Like everybody got one except we didn't get a new one. So I don't know what's up with that. If I had to say, I would say that if there are gonna be other ones released, they're probably gonna do it closer to maybe when the mm -hmm. volume comes out. If there's gonna be a blaze blue event but i don't know anyway ah! here is what hunter ah! has not seen so what did they do to john what did they do ah! i'm sorry i mean i don't hate it it's just so different you know who john looks like all right let's just all he looks like ryuji ah! from persona and i feel a type of like i want to fuck I, Ryuji. I really hope... So now my emotion, like my body's confused. I'm just like, do I, am I attracted can to I, Can I go like this? Because his eyebrows look a right... little close to each other. Can yeah, I go just, Start okay. with Ren first, okay? Okay, all right. Ren, you look great. I love the pops of the pink. I, like I love the, the braid. I, I love like that your dad's the knife. The dad knife on the arm. I love the new shirt. We the, support that. The tangles, great. The tangles? I like Nora. Nora looks like Kyrie and I John looks I... like Ross. I think I still like Nora's second outfit better, but this is still really good. I like the splash of like the teal. I like how it does kind of remind me of a Kingdom Hearts thing. Just you how like how it, it reminds is. you? I don't know, just because typically is I'm not- Kyrie on here? I don't know if you guys can see, but Kyrie has sort of the same type of dress. Again, I'm going to edit it's these videos before and, I release I don't know. them. So, like, I, don't, um, I never, I wasn't crazy I don't crazy care for, for Nora too much. I, I like Nora. I don't like her haircut. I think that's the worst part about it. Did her, did her hair, hair even change? No. Oh, I and like... so I'm saying in general, I don't like her hair, and I think that's the biggest thing I don't like about her, because I, like I like Samantha Ireland, and I like Nora's personality sometimes. I just don't like her hair. I don't know I'm why. really into this, frankly. Why did everyone else get a haircut and not Nora, though? Like, why didn't she get to change her hair? I feel like there needs to be a scene of Nora braiding Ren's hair. I feel like that would Speaking be... of hair... All right. John's, oh, oh, no, John's hair is visible from space. <laughs> oh my and I will only allow that if we also have a scene of every single character in the main cast, including Maria, dragging him for it. Why? I don't, it's, it's just, Here's the thing. it's not I that it's bad. I understand that people think he has fuckboy hair. Oh, well, that's what it is. Sacramento. Sa sa Sacramento. I don't think this Sacramento is a city in California. Sa Sacramento. Ryuji is a nice boy and doesn't deserve your slander. Poor Ryuji. I just, you know what he looks like? Before he looked like a goof. Now he looks like a Chad. Can we just get an F for it. all the cosplayers that now have to uh, wet God. their wigs? Because, like, Jean theoretically is the easiest.
easiest one to do. He All you have like... to do is either have blonde hair yeah. or get a very I don't know. flat wig. You know what you I know mean? What? So out of everyone, John was always the easiest to cosplay. You put on a pumpkin Pete's hoodie and you're basically finished. I now, feel like Pure, pure yeah, like... Ghost supports this. Where? I feel like Pura would swoon if she saw this. I, and I support that, I suppose. Take. I like his hair. I don't like John, uh, but I feel very confused right now. Like I, I don't feel know. Just I feel mixed ways about uh, it. I feel, okay, I feel a lot, but it's like an explosion that goes in no particular direction. And I think they knew that this would happen because that's all anyone... I love does. just his I pose. Think, like, he's leaning I back. I think he looks like, more mature. Back. I think he looks more you attractive. Wanted, you want to know what he looks like? He looks like he got queer-eyed. Oh, my that's God. That's what don't he looks that. like. You can also see... He I don't know if you guys like... can see this, but in the background, there seems to be an overlay of concept art. Yeah. So you can see Nora... In uh, there on the side, you can see Ren on the side and how they designed the new outfit, so I'm sure we'll get that soon, but damn. Looks like Jonathan Van Ness went to, so, like, ham <laughs> on his That's shirt. all the news. The only other thing is that the people that were at the panel got to see the first 12 minutes of the first episode, <sighs> but it's not finished. That's and it. it hasn't like, that's been it. it probably has some weird buildings, mm -hmm. like the one that we saw. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's basically it. That is all the news that we have right now. Ruby Compendium book. That com Did I not take a picture of that? I thought I did. Basically, at the Viz Media booth, you can get it early, but it's already coming out next week, so, like, everyone relax. PSA about that, actually, now that we have your attention. But somebody has been, a couple people have been posting fake leaks Oh. from the book and so i caught them red-handed on were tumblr the fake they were basically like raven's weapon is called and then her sword is called and so i was talking to arnold because he has the book and i was talking to other people who got the book early just because their books were sent to them and i'm like is that true because that sounds stupid like stupid names if that makes sense like that name and he and like they were like no like that's not what it says and they showed me what it says in the screenshot like Spoilers, I guess. Raven's weapon is called, like, Omen, and her semblance oh. is called Kindred Spirit, which oh, was not the same cool. as the stupid shit that some people were posting. Omen, so like now that. they've deleted, I'm pretty sure, some of their posts. But just be careful out there, guys. People are posting fake things. Even with this, people are going to be like, I saw the first 12 minutes and Bumblebee kissed, like, with no yeah. verification. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just be careful, okay? Wait till it's actually out. Do not jump to conclusions, guys. Wait for the lore book. Genre uh, Jean experiences a traumatic facial wound and Somebody, therefore has to change They said like, head. oh, the new outfits were in the lore book and Jean has stubble now. And I'm like, ah, clearly he does not. And they weren't in the lore book, by the way, the new outfit. So yeah, I mean, the only thing someone got right was Ren having a ponytail, but they said it was a high pony, which this is not. So again, no. full of shit. Don't pay attention Unless to stuff going you around on seen the, it in the back, I don't know. Um, but, I yeah. like them. I I, I, I like them too. I really like Nora's yeah. clothes. Like I just really like yeah. hers, especially. I like Jean's hair. Okay, controversial. And you guys know I don't like Jean. <laughs> okay, and so this is a lot coming from me. I think his eyebrows are a bit too long here. And they look weirdly thin. They look weirdly close together. But maybe it's, together. And maybe now that like he just it, everything looks out of hair. proportion yeah, because he has less maybe. hair. But yeah, he reminds me of Roxas. I love how we're just he reminds me of this character on the poster and this character on the like. I feel it like reminds me of Kara Eberly's signature. Oh boy. Um, Anyways. John's eyes are the same color as Kara Everly's. <laughs> anyway, that's all the news. No more photos? No more photos. Okay. That was it. fun. We will see you guys. For our wonderful patrons over on Patreon who support the channel, their names will scroll through now.